Viewport Frames in Roblox Studio. Think of Viewport Frames as a second workspace, it can display 3D objects within a 2D frame. To create Viewport Frames, first insert a screen GUI and delete the style link since we don't need it. Then insert a Viewport Frame. Size and position it to your liking, and there it is. Now, let's add something inside. Add a part or anything you would like into the frame. Position the camera, duplicate it, then rename it. Insert them into the viewport frame. Scroll down the viewport frame's properties and set the current camera to our camera duplicate. We can also make the part move in the viewport frame. Insert a world model into the viewport frame and place the part inside. Now I'll just paste a script to rotate the part so it moves. The script will be in the comments section. Now it moves. Now let's move on to the properties. Since there are a lot of properties, I'll just give a basic rundown of the important ones. Ambient is basically the hue of the light. You can change the actual color of the light to whatever you want. You can also move the light to wherever you want, just click the drop down for more precise movements. We can also change the background's color, as well as the transparency. We can also color the outline, but we have to increase the thickness first. The outline has three different modes, outline is the default and makes a border outside the frame. Inset has the border inside the frame, and middle is half inside and half outside of the frame. We can move the viewport frames by values and also by dragging it around our screen. Same goes for resizing it. We can also rotate the frame, though this only uses values. Visible is self-explanatory. We can also change the overall color and transparency of the viewport frame. We can also do this with parts. Add a surface GUI into starter GUI and delete the style link. Copy-paste our previous viewport frame into the surface GUI and set the adornee to your part. Size the viewport frame to your liking and that's it. Those were.